Yeah, I just Sanders 69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival Season 7. Episode, uh, what are we, let's guess 26. It's, it's a it's a really, really just no con. I know we're in the 20s. I don't know which one in particular, so I'm guessing 26. Today's going to be a different episode. For one, for some reason, Minecraft started in offline mode, and I have the Alexa skin. So that's, uh, that's new for me, I guess. It's cool. Um, but today... I'm basically going to use this as a ketchup episode, not mustard ketchup, because um, I've done a lot of live streams, and uh, we're kind of behind on the YouTube version of things, so this episode is going to be all about catching you guys up. First thing we did is we, uh, we built this, we took down the tower that we built, and we uh, replaced it with this thing, the, the new base of it. It's, it's similar to the one in Season 5. But this one is actually like two blocks bigger. Maybe just a block bigger. The other one was way too big. It was just going to look terrible. So we're going with this one. Um, the next couple things that happened, and I will show that on camera, is one, we had a tornado that tracked just beyond the... Uh, here, I'll go up in the tower to show you. The grass is probably growing back by now because, like I said, I've done a lot of live stream stuff. So, um, don't be too surprised if you can't even tell where it went, but, oh look, we're missing a block right there, actually. I wonder if that's from the tornado or if that's just, uh, just a missing block. But, it, uh, it tracked, oh yeah, you can see it. You can, yeah, you see the, um, uh, missing grass there? It's already growing back, but that's how close it got, and you'll see it went, it went <clears throat> right beyond our windmill there. It touched down somewhere back there, and it just tracked right next to the river there, um, and eventually crossed over there at one point. But yeah, I, that was a little close to the house, considering we have a wooden house. Um, a few debris blocks actually got tossed here. I'll show the clip of it right now. Oh, it's an F-Zero. It's gonna hit the windmill! Why is there a creeper in here? <laughs> Oh no! I'm repairing. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not good. Okay, yep, just put that back there. Oh dear. Quick, gear have a super clickbaity thumbnail. That's the wrong block. Oh, this is not good. This is actually really not good. Oh dear, that is close. <laughs> this is going to hit the house. This is definitely going to hit the house. Oh dear, it's an F2. It is growing in size. And <laughs> it is going to go inches away from the house. It's going to miss the house just barely, dude. I think. You think. I think. I hope. Yeah. House should be fine. Oh man, that's a close call and a half right there. Oh man, that came close. Is it gonna turn? Do I not have a siren? <laughs> this game is so broke, by the way. No, it's good. It's gonna miss. It's going right over the hill. Oh, no destruction. It came close enough, I know that. Yeah, that that was super oh. close. Oh, we actually did get damaged. We got hit by leaves. <laughs> Look at the uh we will rebuild. Covered the house and or covered the windmill and leaves. Luckily, it did not hit the house. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna destroy my house for a hundred dollars, by the way. No. Good thing we put in that wind vane, am I right? <laughs> They're all anti uh climatic or anti climatic. What? It missed, okay? It's not my fault. Look how close it got though. It's probably the closest call we've had. Is it still an F2? Yeah it is. That was that was super close, I'm not gonna lie to you. So yeah, there's that. And the next thing that happened is we actually had twin EF5s, I believe. It might have been EF4s by the time they were twins, but they were both EF5s at one point or another, and at the same time, they were both <coughs> violent tornadoes. That occurred back at the old base. I don't know why this is down to that. Let's put it on far. That occurred back at the old base. And I have footage of that too. A lot of footage, actually. This is quite long because, you know, twin tornadoes. We're obviously going to pay attention to that. We need a weather forecaster up here. Um, oh, I really like how you can see that from here. Really, though, we just need to fill in that hole right there and it won't be looking as bad. And, of course, all that. That's more live stream work, though. So, yeah, we're going to work on that in the next episode. But, yeah, here's the clip of the twin tornadoes right we're now. We're chasing what appears to be at least an EF-4 at this point in our broken plane. Um, it's currently over the ocean, so it's not, not doing anything. Might be an EF-5, if I'm being honest. It's a very large tornado. So, uh, it's currently affecting absolutely nothing, but at least it's cool to see. It'd probably be better to see from, like, a very far distance, maybe. Let's just scrape the tree there. It's definitely rain-wrapped. <laughs> what happened while you were gone? Oh, there's a tornado. Where'd this thing go? Oh, there it is. Let's fly to the other side here and see if there's anything that this can move on to. Um, apparently sand. Which is cool. Hello, lightning. That was close. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. It's still raining in the desert, which is interesting to say the least. Cows, we have cows. I think I'm in it right now. I think I just flew through it. Yeah. Where did the cows go? Let's pull up here. This is definitely an EF5. It's gotta be. Right. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. Fly all the way up to the top. <laughs> Hello, lightning. What the heck? Uh. Oh, we can't. Is this the second cloud deck or the first? I can't tell. Can we turn our render distance up? Whee! <laughs> Let's go back down. More, uh, oh, here's where it's being picked stuff up at. Here's the damage path. It's currently, uh, getting these trees here. Putting them all over the uh, landscape here. Littering the landscape with that. Let's just do a tight little turn here. Oh yeah, that's some damage right there. Now watch me fly in between these trees because I'm cool. Whoa, look at that, that was cool. Yep, 
driven up blocks now. There goes that tree. Got to travel close to the ground because it's quicker. <laughs> now, it's technically over... What is it over at this point? Oh, we got another cow and a chicken. The chickens will live, the cows will. I think it would be tearing this tree up right here, but apparently not. Oh, uh, here's the damage path, right? Or over top of it here. Can we turn on a dime again? Yeah. So we're overlooking the damage path here. It should be affecting this tree right in front of us in a couple seconds. Now, the question is, can we land this bad boy? Get a view of this thing. Oh, yeah. Perfect landing. Nailed it. It's a water plane, right? Plane. Plane. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, yeah. There she is right there. Still messaging me. Let's see, we should get some uh should get some block damage here in a second. Wait a minute, is it hailing? <laughs> oh quick. It's a thumbnail. It's thumbnail worthy. It's also killing me worthy. Picking up some blocks right there, ladies and gentlemen. That'll do it. It's actually picking up all of those. Hello. I'm not being affected by it yet, although we do have... Yeah. So it's right there, so we want to be backing off of it here right about now. <laughs> Relocating our position. Oh, that's cool. It's a crescent moon. Before I go ahead and cross the river here. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Imagine if we go into uh, advanced config and turn down the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The the rain particles. Where's that at? So I can actually see this thing. Gotta be one of these. Does anyone know what page it is off the top of their head? Ten. There's not ten pages. I know. <laughs> it take an hour. Oh wow, thanks. Remind me to bleep that ah, who cares? I've had cookie in videos before. <laughs> Watch it be the last page. Or maybe I just passed it at this point. <laughs> Nobody knows what page it is. Oh, here we go. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Ooh. Now that is thumbnail worthy. There 
there it goes. Now it's picking up blocks. Oh, why didn't I take a screenshot of the lightning strike with it? Well, that's a pretty decent tornado right there. Hey, car climbing. Oh, look out! Oh, we got two! We got two! Well, that spawned right on top of me. That's a satellite tornado right there. That's pretty cool. Gotta watch out there. That's a surprising. That can get you. That's an EF1 next to an EF3 or 4. That's uh, that's quite the tornado. Quite the little uh, action we've got going on here, ain't it? <laughs> Twins. Ow. Oh, I just realized that's on top of our base. <laughs> that's unfortunate. That's that's uh that's our base right there. All right, hold on, hold on. We're in a dire situation. We got two wedges absolutely on the ground. Two EF3s side by side, and one of them is currently heading right towards me, and I'm stuck in the water, unable to get away. Okay, okay, this is a problem. <laughs> this is problematic. Uh huh. Yeah, right. Um. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed by the satellite tornado. Oh dear gosh. Uh huh. Interesting. Uh huh. Interesting. Alright, we got away for now. Can we get further away here to get a decent shot of this thing? It's nighttime, there are mobs, there's two tornadoes. Yeah, what is this, Pilger? Okay. Alright, this one's weakening, so let's uh let's hope this one dies out. They're kind of converging almost, aren't they? That's how close they are. See that's an EF2 and the other one's an EF3. Look at that. Two twin wedges right there. Look, that's my base right there. Let's cross back over the river here. Let's see if we can uh, see if there's any damage done to my base itself. I'll try and backtrack on the back edge of these so I don't, uh, I don't get sucked right in. just missed the base. It went right in front of the base here. That would have been unfortunate, because that would have sucked up the build, um, uh, villagers and everything. Can I get back into this spot over here? Yeah. That other one has to be an EF4 at least. Now the blocks... We are getting some blocked over here. Can we get the rain to stop? Yeah, that other one's uh I, I, we probably had two yet four plus tornadoes on the ground. I mean yeah. That's it's pretty incredible there. Quite lucky because it just went right by the base. I mean, we got blocked, blocks littered all over the place. Uh, it's pretty incredible because we went, we went quite some time without having a, uh, without having a the first. Oh dear, without having the first storm the whole stream. Well, we've been streaming for over two hours now, and we get two storms at the same time. It happened to be two <laughs> wedge tornadoes here. Alright, they, uh, they seem to have died off now. So, here we go. Oh! That was interesting. I believe 
the other one is picked up and we're down to just one main EF3 now, so I think I'm just going to divert my attention away from them now. All right, and if you <clears throat> oh my gosh, my voice is not narrating today. I'll tell you what, it is not a good day for the um, uh, vocal cords. But um, if you'll look at the video time, that should be like, you know what? More than 10 minutes by far, which means that's that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the choppiness and the non-smoothness of it. Hope you're caught up, and just know that in the next episode, we're going to um, uh, build that right there. See that? Oh, yeah, and one last thing. Um, I, <laughs> While flying, I discovered where I had died a long, long time ago in one of the episodes, and I recovered all of it, and because of that, I was able to get a Power 5 Infinity Bow, and a couple of other things. I think just... We, it was pretty early on when I died. So there wasn't two am amazing things. just like iron armor, iron tools and stuff. But I recovered that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, like I said. Next episode we're going to focus on that thing right there. And maybe do some more flying. Our airport will be ready. And after we build this I have more plans. I basically... I would like a little parking unit for the airplanes. Like right there. Maybe in front of that tree. Like right in here. Like a little lean-to shelter where we back the planes into whenever we're done flying. Because this is, this is the landing and takeoff strip. You don't just park the planes on the landing and takeoff strip, right? So we're going to build that there. And then beyond that, I don't know, we'll think of something to do. Maybe build some paths to connect that right there. What the heck? Is that gone? And then, I don't know. To connect, you know, the house to that, to the house to that, and this. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll do some stuff. There's a lot of stuff left to do. But that's gonna, that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. And I'm gonna see you all in the next one. Bye!